thank you. And I apologize for uh, not minding my manners earlier. Welcome back to Let's Play AM2R, Burning Dog fans. Now that I've uh, made up for my earlier uh, mistake... <laughs> Since I was in the area at all. I'd say it's about time to head down to uh, a science camp. How do I actually get there from here? Uh, just go up the, the tunnels, I guess. Doesn't seem like a very exciting uh, pathway. Too far, too far. So, uh, I guess I'll just jump cut there. Boosh. Okay, this seems close enough. Let me just uh, get the timer going again, and I'll uh, look into it. Oh, and uh, I was curious. Ice beam instantly frees enemies. Extra damage. That's what the ice beam looks like all by itself. What did I just know? Oh, so, never mind. That's enemies. I wonder if Spazer is a mistranslation like Varia. Fine, we'll start from down here. Fire in the hole! Oh. It totally is an elevator platform. And a rapid one at that. GFS Toth. I'm pretty sure that's how that... Uh, uh, there's an Egyptian god whose name is spelled like that. I think that's how that's pronounced. The GFS Toth is a griffin class ship. Once an escort of Olympus class battleships, it has since been converted into a research vessel. Its crew has continuously helped the Federation explore planets, ancient civilizations, and study species throughout the galaxy. The Toth carries portable drilling machinery for excavations. The ship has landed on a small valley. Not just a, the ship landed on a small valley. The present dig site connects directly to the underground research lab. An Anhur class gunship is also nearby, registered to the rescue team. This is some ominous ass music. Found us. Okay. the hell? Oh, wow. Neat. Oh, shit. I can actually see that in the background. I saw an earlier area in there. How many different kinds of doors there are in this game? It's 
the mistrust of the ship. He's dead, Jim. Huh. That safety warning there actually looks like a hieroglyphic to me. Can't make uh, sense of this one, though. Hello? God damn it, everyone here is dead too! You must be from the rescue team. No Metroids detected. Interesting. Those plants are dead, this ship has been here a while. Anhur class gunship, I presume. Oh, fuck, I didn't even see that in the ground there. It's really funny. I wonder if that's an observatory or a weapons emplacement. That's oh, not the bridge. Fine, let's do this. The motion sensor monitor system displays as follows. Level 1 storage. No signal. Level 1 lobby. No signal. Level 2 comms room. No signal. Level 2 west wing. No signal. Level 3 east wing. Movement detected. I feel I should point out that they don't use nor uh, north, south, east, and west on ships to refer to parts of the ship, because the ship can turn, particularly in space, where you have 360 degree, uh, degrees of movement, both left and right, and up and down. It's always struck me as uh, rather unrealistic in Star Trek that whenever two ships meet in space, they're both aligned on the same vertical axis. You never see a ship approaching that looks upside down from the perspective of the other one. It's like all the species in space randomly agreed on the same arbitrary up. Everybody's fucking dead. A crystal ball? The fuck? I'm guessing the level three east wing is going to be up just above me there. All right, fine. I was going to just go outside and fill in the gaps around the ship, but that would just be delaying. Let's do this. I'm actually really tense right now. This feels like a fucking horror game all of a sudden. I feel it suddenly feels very appropriate. Oh, they did it again. Look, there's a dead end marked on that wall. I mean, if it wasn't obvious I could keep going, I wouldn't have 
looked. Um, for the longest time, they were talking about making a 2D Metroid game on the Nintendo DS. I believe they've they've confirmed it was an official pro uh, project they were working on at one point. They just stopped for some reason. And I bring it up because I just mentioned that it feels like a horror game all of a sudden. And the name of that project was Metroid Dread. Swanky, they have their own save station. Metroid Dread. There is a, uh... There's a readable Space Pirate screen in one of the Metroid Prime games. Three, I think. It's just a bit of, like, flavor lore that says something like, uh, Metroid Research Project DREAD, in quotes, is, uh, progressing, uh, according to schedule. Further updates as, uh, you know, re as, a uh, experiment outcome has become, uh, finalized. And M Nintendo have said that that wasn't intended as a reference to the Metroid Dread project, but come on. Oh, fuck this. Really? Door's not closing. Fine, let's trigger the trap. Let's do this! Genesis, an ambush predator. This blind animal has adapted to hunt in the dark, relying on specialized senses to stalk prey. Its body offers little protection and will attempt, and will attempt to conceal itself in the shadows as a result. Its acidic blood is used as a projectile via... via Auto hemorrhaging. The Genesis naturally hunts in groups, making it a highly successful species with little need to evolve. Its DNA suggests it belongs to the oldest living lineage on SR388, granting its name. Holy fucking shit! Ah! Fucking A, he's shrugging off super missiles. Come on, where are you? Do you really think I didn't notice a little tidbit about it being a pack hunter? Really? And then tell me that one of those things took out an entire ship full of, uh, uh, space marines? Where are they? Fuck that. Watching those corners. Here. I got an energy tank out of it, I guess. Fuck this. Wonder why the shot didn't register. For a second there, I was absolutely convinced that, uh...
I was absolutely convinced for a second there that the door wasn't going to open because I was suddenly being attacked like three of them. So, the research team landed and set up a camp. And the people who... Let me see. The research team who went down into the camp were slaughtered by Alpha Metroids. And the ones who stayed behind at the ship seem to have been slain to the last man by Genesis. That was neat. I'm not quite clear on if the research team were killed by Genesis or not. Or if... Yeah, actually, yeah, it did look like that. For a second there, I was wondering if Genesis, like, moved into the, uh, ship after the, uh, the killing was done. You know, made it as a hunting ground. But, uh... Then I remember the broken test tube. So they took a Genesis alive as a specimen. It broke free and killed everyone on the ship. Probably around the same time the... I think this room is a reference to the uh, opening sequence of uh, Metroid Fusion. Just uh, throwing that out there. I remember that, uh, Samus walks in being a bodyguard for a couple of, uh, scientists, and there's a Hornode sitting on a thing just there. And she, uh, blasts it. But it's not really a Hornode, it's, a, an ex-parasite mimicking a Hornode. And the, uh, the parasite's globular form, uh, infects, uh, Samus. So then the, uh, so everybody's dead. The rescue team comes. They land just over there. And, uh... And after they do, they go to investigate the, uh, the research ship. And they're all pretty much immediately slaughtered by Genesis. Man. I guess the mystery is solved. That was really creepy. I'm gonna have more power bombs than super missiles. I'm gonna head up there. Try and, uh... Head up there and try and... I bet there's a robot there with a ball ready for me to knock into that thing now. through there after I unlocked the, the bombs. Right after I unlocked the bombs. It felt new and exciting. I could get the feeling the entire area around the toss there was, uh, 
not in the original game. I'd be happy to correct myself if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that whole thing with the missing ship was uh, brand new. Oh fuck, I can't get there from here. This is just the, uh, the first breeding grounds. You know, I remembered something. Uh, the way I pronounce, uh, Samus's name. Uh... Let's finish this. So... Metroids... Christ, one through five had no voice acting in them. You know, that includes uh, Metroid Fusion and Samus... Uh, Samus and uh, Metroid Prime. But, uh... Ah, yes. Okay, I'm looking. Fuck it. Good lord. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to work on that. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh. Oh, that's an, that's an exit, that's what that is. Well, the important thing is, I finally got that stupid thing. So I no longer have to have that marker there. Uh, I'll just head back up in the save room. But yeah, uh, short version is... Oh. Oh, fine. Nope. Can't look into that right now. The short version is that, uh... Well, you assume... A character. You have to, back in the day when it's just text, you know, in a manual or on the screen, or even on the screen, you had to assume how a character's name was pronounced, and this led to, like, very commonly, uh, Western kids thought Ryu from Street Fighter was uh, named Ryu because that's how you would pronounce it with uh, the English, if it was a, an English term. And, uh, you look at the way her name is written, and for years, you know, in my head, it's Samus, uh, Aran. Oh, sorry, Samus Aran. That's what it was. Samus Aran. And, uh, 
Then Super Smash Brothers comes out on the N64, and the and when you pick when you pick her, the announcer says Samus, as opposed to Samus. Very subtle difference there, but uh. I remember years later, I went to the website for a game called Metroid Prime Hunters, whose whole big thing was it has a, it had a, a multiplayer mode where you could play as uh, Samus or as a bunch of other bounty hunters. And uh, when you click on when you clicked on uh, Samus's character profile, you would hear this dignified announcer woman go, "Samus Aaron." And that's the only place I've ever heard her surname spoken aloud, but I'm assuming it's accurate. So, you know, ever since then, in my, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's Samus Aaron. Anyway, uh, this is going way over time, so I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play AM2R. Later!